Is well, that right? Well, you, it's going down. It's going down? Well, how much do you, you got rocks in your pocket or something? You're going, you're sinking. Don't worry about it. You'll be just fine. We only got a couple minutes more, right? Okay, now we're going to do this top ten list. This is when we get really funny now. Whoa! <laughs> well, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I see now. Okay. You know, the guy's probably got money. And then we did this. If I were a rich man. Sounds like the Flint. I R Floyd R Turbo, <laughs> and the R stands for real deal. And I am an American patriot, Kenosha citizen. On the bank of the harbor stood Mayor Bosman, young Indian brave. On the other side of the harbor stood a warrior just as brave, Jimmy Cruiser. Oh! <laughs> Barney, a little flashy there. Um, you guys got one more song? To, to, and then you can, I guess then, this wraps it up for, to, boy, I'm just, I got nothing left here. So um, anyway, we'll see you all next week and we'll go back to Unplugged here. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the December 4th edition of the Kenosha Today Show. We have a great show planned in just a little bit. Uh, our good friend Dick Arneson from the Goodfellas uh, Foundation is here, and they have a great uh, event coming up next Tuesday on December 10th. And then uh, we can get you some tickets for that, and uh, it's a, probably one of the most worthwhile causes in all the community. And then uh, joining me, as he does each and every Wednesday, with his message of hope and inspiration, the Lonesome Dove joins me this evening. And what the heck was that? <laughs> it was a, a cow banging in the distance. <laughs> Oh, to um, you too. Now, um, our radio show that we started on November 1st is now past its uh, fifth week. And coming up this Saturday at 10 to 11 down at the Bose House, uh, we're going to have lunch with Santa. And my, my co host, Stevie, uh, Stevie, yeah, Steve Stevie. Casey. Little, little Stevie. Little, little Stevie and Uncle <laughs> Scotty, and they're going to be talking with Santa. So we invite everybody to come down there because they're going to have, you can get the kids' meals and you can get a photo with Santa. And uh, we're gonna have the trees all trimmed and everything else. So come down early, and um, we're gonna the, the lonesome devil will join us at eleven. And mm -hmm. uh, if there's nobody arrested and convicted, we'll continue we'll, on that uh, deal. See you again the next see week. See you next year. <laughs> um, this was I had a birthday party, and this photo was uh, passed on to me. And I'm not sure this is Ron, our director, and and Pat here. I don't recall this being taken, and for what purpose was this taken? No, I, yeah. Let's, <laughs> Call who? Looks like you guys had too much of a good time there. Huh? This was my birthday, and where was I? How come my picture's not in this? I, you know, I, that was probably when. I, you know, I honestly, I don't think I recall taking that picture either. So. <laughs> who took that picture, by the way, Brian? <laughs> you must have, because. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have taken this there. picture, it would have never been this <coughs> centered and everything else. Yeah, but it looks like you two off. guys were blaming each other for something. I think your daughter did. Oh, sure, blame my daughter for this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before we get to your message of hope and inspiration, I came across this uh, cute little story. A group of guys, they're all age 40, they discussed where they should meet for lunch. So finally it was agreed they would meet at a place called Weatherspoons in Uxbridge because the waitresses had big breasts and wore miniskirts. Ten years later, at age 50, the friends once again discussed where they should meet for lunch. Finally it was agreed that they would meet at Weatherspoons in Uxbridge because the food was and the service was good and the beer was excellent. Ten years later, at age 60, the friends again discussed where they should meet for lunch. Finally, it was agreed that they would meet at Weatherspoons in Uxbridge because they could dine in peace and quiet and it was a good value for their money. Ten years later, at age 70, the friends discussed where they should meet for lunch. Finally, it was agreed that they would meet at Weatherspoons in Uxbridge, Uxbridge because the restaurant had, was wheelchair, wheelchair accessible and had a toilet for the disabled. Finally, 10 years later, at age 80, the friends discussed where they should go for lunch. Finally, it was agreed that they would meet at Weatherspoons in Uxbridge because they couldn't remember ever having eaten there mm. before. See how that kind of works <laughs> out? That was, the mess that was my message of hope, <laughs> hope and inspiration yes. for the rest of the day. Uh, you have a message of Christmas hope and inspiration, and sure. then uh, we'll do the top 10, and then we have, by popular man, demand, 
a song that you did uh, a couple years ago called, uh, well, I'll build up, I'll, let's, <laughs> let's just, just dangle everybody for a couple All minutes. right. So what is this called? This is called uh, The Christmas Wish. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know if you believe in Christmas Or if you have presents underneath the Christmas tree But if you believe in love There will be more than enough For you to come and celebrate with me For I've held the precious gift that love brings Even though I never saw a Christmas star I know there is a light I have felt it burn inside And I have seen it shining from afar Christmas is the time to come together Time to put all differences aside And I reach out my hand To the family of man To share the joy I feel at Christmas time For the truth that binds us all together I would like to say a simple prayer That at this special time You will have true peace of mind And love to last throughout the coming year Christmas is the time to come together A time to put all differences aside And I reach out my hand To the family of man To share the joy I feel at Christmas time And if you believe in love There will be more than enough For peace to last throughout the coming year And peace on earth will last throughout the year Oh my god, that was very good. That was very good. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of you. Oh, it now it's all downhill it from there. It should be good. <laughs> no, it's a, I mean, because the rest of the songs <coughs> that you're going to see us uh, <coughs> probably don't compare anything to that, but that was very good. I was starting to tear up here a little bit. Well, you know, it, if, uh, it's a Kermit song, you know, and if it's Kermit, it's got to be good. Well, it's got to be because everything else, <coughs> after, other than <coughs> when Dick Arneson gets here, uh, some of this stuff isn't as, quite as top-notch as, as that. Yeah, uh, it's quite um, possible. You ready, Ronnie? This is written in our home office on the deck at the Boathouse Pub and Eatery, tonight's top 10 category. These are the top 10 Kenosha Today Christmas, El Christmas carols. You know, you did a very nice one by Kermit, but that didn't make the list. It well, probably should have. Uh, yeah. These are the top 10 Kenosha Today Christmas carols, number 10. Rudolph the Snot Nose Trolley Driver. That made the list. Mm -hmm. Number uh, 9. A Joy <coughs> to the World of Frivolous Ethics Complaints, number 8. <laughs> Watching the school board come a wassling. Boy, they got some real problems over there. Right? <laughs> Number seven, uh, the Lonesome Doves holiday online message to all the elves we loved before. And back by popular demand, we're going to show that's coming up here in a little bit. Uh, number six, deck the halls with boughs of super glue. <laughs> that's an oldie but a favorite. In yes, the last yes. Couple months. It sticks around. Uh, number five, Jack Frost roasting nuts on an open fire at the Southport Beach House. Number four. Frosty the Pervert, and number three, walking in a 500,000 school district bio. Boy, <laughs> talk about Christmas giving, huh? Number two, this doesn't apply to you, but two, run, two, 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 run. To two, run, run, run. Away in a drunk tank. Are you oh, okay yeah. back there? 
<coughs> I was going to say, is anybody uh, disturbing you? But I know there's nobody back there. Yeah, he's What's, alone is that back me? there. That can't be me. No, I think okay. that was me. Okay. And <laughs> he clicks alone. I'll the the number one Kenosha today Christmas Carol. Old little town of what went wrong. Amen. <laughs> hey, All right. Um, now you're going to join us uh, at the boathouse. Yes, so I will. We're going to uh, uh, put together a little deal, and we're going to play it uh, right before Christmas on the 18th. Well, so we'll show some clips of uh, the radio, Steve, with the little Stevie and the spin the donut, and and then we'll have a top ten, and uh, we'll have, you have some messages of of you know for all the cute little kids that come sure. all dressed up and. And if they come to sit on your lap, say, get away from me, go sit yes, next to the fat right. guy with the beard. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about giving. <laughs> that's right. All right, Ryan, we're going to show this. This was, a, <coughs> when I meant me. it's downhill from there, but this was something we did a couple years ago. And then uh, Dick's going to join us, and then we're going to come back to all the elves we loved before. Oh, no, Mason Taylor joins us then. All the elves we loved before, and then uh, the real deal joins us. So, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, this is... Um, <laughs> Pat's version of a, a Christmas without weed. Top ten. And we're gonna, we're gonna, <coughs> okay, come back and uh, um, hey, before we do this, can you give us just a rendition? Because I had a lot of requests for this last week's. <laughs> last week's. Uh, uh, this was our throwaway song. This was the uh, Christmas without Christmas weed. Christmas without right, weed. This, yeah. this, by popular request. Here it goes. Well, it's Christmas time again. I've been calling all my friends Well, there ain't no weed to buy So I won't be getting high Unless I smoke these seeds and stems So I called my old friend Mike He asked me what I like Said I'd like some Christmas pot I enjoy smoking a lot And this town's so doggone dry <laughs> Well, it's Christmas without weed It's like a forest without trees It's like a dog without a bone Like a sleigh without the snow won't someone help me, please? <laughs> oh, but we had, I had, you know, out of 15, almost six. Yeah, that. Back by popular demand, don't ask me why. Okay, coming up on uh, next Tuesday, December 10th, at Marina Shores, the 83rd, excuse me, consecutive Goodfellows uh, charity dinner. And joining me, uh, as he has on a number of occasions, uh, the president, right? Right. Of good Thank fellows. you for having uh, me. <laughs> Dick Harders <laughs> joins me. What did they do? Pardon me? What did they do that you made you present? They voted for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I missed the meeting. Yeah, I got elected. That's, that's, how this, that's how this stuff <laughs> <Yeah>. happens, right? <laughs> um, now, this is the 83rd. And what would you say if somebody got a toy? Well, if there was a 10-year-old little boy or girl in 1973 yeah. that received a toy at a Christmas dinner, today would be 60 years old. And, and the toy would probably be worth pretty, pretty probably much. Probably close to an antique, yeah, maybe. Right. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, this starts at Marina Shores, and it starts at what time? 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, and the dinner is at probably 6? 6 o'clock is the dinner. Okay. And uh, you, have a, you have some major sponsors, too numerous to mention, but you do have uh, a couple really major ones that... Uh, right. We, we have a trip to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Who's, who's sponsoring that? Uh, I believe that came from Dave Hagman. Oh, okay. Uh, he's the former CEO of Vista. Okay. And uh, there's a trip to Napa Valley, the wine country. Oh. Uh, don't don't say that nice. to these guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> don't stuff the ballot box. I right saw there, the right? birthday picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And then you got another trip to where? Well, part of Port of the Arts. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, and the other one. Okay. And uh, out to the Napa Valley, right. All right. And we have numerous other gifts, too. And then you have a, uh, some silent auctions with a host of things? About 50 silent auctions, about 15 major raffles. Okay. And then there's a live auction with at least nine items on it. Festival Foods, the okay. new uh, store is giving Still us 
three thousand dollars worth of food voucher. That's the old super value for the. That's the old super value for the dance. Um, now the tickets are fifty dollars, right. and now it is a fundraiser because uh, we want to generate a whole lot of money uh, because all of this money, and this is one I think when Howard was here, that always impressed me is not one penny is meant, uh, spent for administration nope. purposes. You Absolutely it zero. Or, zero. And, and compared to some of the national uh, fundraisers where they take anywhere from 35 sure. to something percent off the top, and it's never made sense to me why you have to spend 35 cents or 45 cents on the dollar to raise 100,000 when you guys uh, um, can do this for nothing. I mean, that's why it's called the Goodfellas. Right. right? It started way back in uh, when uh, Schulte. Back, right? back in the late 20s, early 30s. <coughs> yeah. Um, now, what was I going to say here? Oh, the, the number of kids, approximately, the, the all disadvantaged kids in the meaning, of, in the way of either food. Well, they, they get their family get a Christmas dinner and, the, and the, the child gets a toy. Okay, for approximately how many? Anywhere from 3,000 to 3,200 kids each year. Do you find that there's a greater demand each year because of either the economy or, or what have you that there's a bigger demand for, for that, like that's that? an excellent question and and we we discuss that on a continuous basis we have never never gone over I don't think 32 or three 3300 mm -hmm. kids and yet we are now a city of a hundred thousand when we used to be a city of about forty thousand yeah and why hasn't it gone up I believe we are lucky to live in a community that is very very generous and it seems like every church, every school, yeah. every classroom is doing this sort of thing now. You know, in the last, I'll say, 15 years, when uh, all of our factories, uh, well, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, went uh, by the wayside, and it changed the complexion when we had all the influx of Illinois people with the White Caps, <coughs> Strawberry Creeks, and, and some of the other subdivision, uh, Back in the early 90s, a $400,000 house to build in Illinois was 200 here. Sure. And we have about 30,000 people that leave this community every day to work elsewhere. And who would have ever thought that would have happened back in the 90s when Chrysler or uh, AMC exactly. had gone out and we didn't know what we were going to do, where we were going to go. It changed the political climate a little bit. But still, uh, I think our unemployment rate after the Chryslers have left uh, is very minimal. I think exactly. In, in the economy of this town, seems to be doing very well um, well when I was younger Racine was a larger city than Kenosha today Kenosha is far well, larger than Racine and I think in a much better position oh, and I, I, shape say what we will about uh, our school board and our, our city council yeah. but everybody's got those problems and besides if we didn't have them Pat and I would be out of business and we'd sit here for an hour doing nothing <laughs> so, <laughs> as opposed to <laughs> doing something yeah. worthwhile like this yeah. but you know what that's a good point because Let's take back uh, 15 years ago, and you were serving 3,200. Now we're serving maybe just a few hundred more with, you know, a 50% or thereabouts increase in population. So I guess that's going in the right direction from the standpoint. Uh, Definitely. So anyway, anything else you want to add there, Dick? Well, only we hope people will come. Uh, if, they, uh, if they are interested in getting a ticket, they can call Arlene at the Kenosha News at 656-322. No, wait a minute. 656-6322. Six, six, five, six, 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 right. And uh, the dress is casual. You don't have to worry about making a tuxedo or you know, no, dressing no, up. You can do wherever you want. Years ago, well, there's two things yeah. that have changed. It used to be pretty formal. Everyone wore a tie. Nowadays, I would think about half of the people just dress in a nice sweater. The go. other big change is we probably have 30 or 40 percent are now women. Oh. In the past, they were almost all men. Well, that's how it was originally that's set up. That's how it was originally when, set up, but more and more women are coming every year. I find more and more business, women are in the business world. Well, well I, in the business world, but no. That's part no, of it, but no. I think uh, women are more interested in good fellows. People are bringing their wives or girlfriends, that sort of thing. Do you ever get criticized? Good, good fellows versus good people? No, but that's been on my thank mind you, more thank than Thank you for once. bringing that up, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus, I'm, I'm waiting for that first time when we have to call ourselves a good person or something. <laughs> Makes no difference. It's the cause is still the same, That's right? right. Yes. Yeah, everyone wants to be politically <laughs> correct. You know, it's been 83 years, and the good fellows is you know, women can be called fellows. But I guess right. we haven't we haven't had that complaint yet. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry I brought this. No, up. don't That's worry about it. You will. <laughs> <laughs> well, that don't bother talking into this. <laughs> <one>. <laughs>
Anyway, coming up, you can call Arlene at 656-6322. The tickets are $50. It's next Tuesday. It's always been for 83 years. The first Tuesday in December. This week, uh, year, it happens to fall on, or the, I'm sorry, the, oh, this know, will be the second Tuesday, right? It's always been traditionally the first Tuesday. Oh, okay, then I wasn't right. You were right. Okay. However, because Thanksgiving was so late this oh, year. Oh, that's right. Okay. This year, we changed it to the second Tuesday because of Thanksgiving. That's the first mistake I made all year. I'll betcha. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't bet big money on it. <laughs> anyway, Dick, congratulations on your organization. Thank you. And I hope everybody turns out because it certainly goes for a great cause. And so now uh, we're going to go back. To, uh, this is the, our Kenosha Today Christmas past, I guess, was what it would be. And is this Mason Taylor coming up? All right, we have a couple songs from Mason Taylor. The, the beauty of this gal, I think when she was here, she was only like 14 years old, and uh, she had already had her bachelor's degree from UWM going she on. She was already going. Going for her bachelor's degree. And just this last spring graduated with her bachelor's degree, she's going for her master's degree. She actually hadn't even technically graduated from high school. Yeah. And yet, thanks to Pat and I homeschooling her, she's going for her master's degree in what we don't know. Guitar lessons. Yes, all those guitar lessons. So we're going to be, uh, this is Mason Taylor, followed by uh, All the Elves We Loved Before and then The Real Deal. And then we'll see you Saturday at uh, the Boathouse. Go ahead, Ronnie. Uh, there you go. I've had Thank more you. requests to hear that again than, uh, you know, than the all the elves in Santa calling up. So all right, now, our, um, what's the matter with our um, sophisticated equipment? We can't put graphics up there tonight? No. Nope. Okay, well. It froze up. It froze up. Don't you hate that when you. The reindeer broke it. The reindeer broke it. Well, this is written in our home office on the deck at the Boathouse Pub and Reader. I better to make, well, put my glasses back on so I can read this. Yeah. I'm not reading on the graphics. Uh, tonight's top 10 categories the top 10 good things about Kenosha this year. You know, for 50 weeks we've been here and we might have made light of um, some inadequacies uh, of this town on, no. on occasion. But these are the inadequacies. <laughs> these, inadequacies. these are the top 10 good things about Kenosha this year. Number 10. Only time we haven't used the word dysfunctional describing our city council. So, I mean, we're trying to be good. Number 9. Free cigars just for the taking. I like that one. Number eight, the trial is a wonderful life if you're three foot tall. Because <laughs> nobody sees you on the blooming thing. Number, number seven, the Kenosha News accidentally delivers your paper on the porch and not in the bushes. So that happens to me all the time. Number six, after using more tinfoil, the Channel 14 equipment now works perfectly, see? Except for tonight. We don't have enough tinfoil in there. Uh, number five, all the snot nosed kids in Mr. Byers' neighborhood think he's the greatest guy on the planet. Dirty, dirty still out on that. On that <laughs> thing, yes, but, um, number four, I like this one. Scott's bar tab almost paid up. Well, almost. We've come a long way. The from end of an era. Yeah, so. Number three, you only need to win the lottery to pay this year's property tax bills. <laughs> For those who got their property tax bills the last couple of days, win the lottery and you'll be able to pay it off. Number two, the amazing gift shops located at the bottom of a Kenosha pothole. And the number one good thing about Kenosha this year. This is the last dopey top 10 list for 2011. Oh, hey! All right, um, joining us next is uh, a, a gal that's been here a couple years ago, about four years ago. Uh, Mason was only 14, if I'm right, when she was here, four, 14. I don't know, it's all a blur. Life is a blur. Let me do the talking now. <laughs> she was 14, and she was, what, ninth grade and when she got advanced uh, to UWM in Milwaukee and was going to bypass her high school years and uh, get her uh, bachelor's degree in music. Or, okay. And she's successfully done that in less than four years. Am I right? Yeah. So. <laughs> no. He <laughs> just says. <laughs> Roll with me on this, baby. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Well, Pat, Pat and I was struggling. And then she to got the Nobel Peace Prize. Your <laughs> 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 career is pretty much over after this. But no, she's been here uh, uh, on a number several of occasions. Several times. Several now. times. Yes. And, uh, and a real delight. So please welcome Mason Taylor. Yeah. Hello. Hi okay, there. what are you gonna yeah. sing first? Are you not gonna sing? You're gonna play something there? Yeah, I'm gonna play something. I came Good. down with a cold, so. 
Okay. Well, singing for me tonight. So. You you play, and then Pat and I will come back, and we will do our song after your song, and then we'll let you play another one. Okay. Sounds good. Well, I'm not so sure about how good <laughs> it's going to sound, but um, you'll be great. <laughs> this is God Rest You Merry Gentlemen by uh, Mil Billy McLaughlin. Ron, just come to here and we'll uh, just converse uh, here. So, um, Mason, when you, uh, you just graduated? Yeah. If, if, with your bachelor's degree from U, UWM, right? Right. So you're only 17, right? Yeah. So are, <laughs> are you, um, well, see, we're in awe of this because we've had some problems in the education. I just got my high school diploma a couple <laughs> of years 37, ago. 37, so, so we're struggling. You know, so, <laughs> oh, well, just, so now what, what does uh, the future hold for, for you? I mean, are you going starting in January to go for your... You know. My, yeah, graduate degree, uh, my master's, yeah. So how long do you think that's going to take, a couple months or? <laughs> <laughs> no, so two what? years, two, two, two year years. program. And then, uh, is, what would that be, in, mas in music or? Yeah. In music? Do you want to teach or write or perform or? Um, all of the above. All of the above, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, I want to teach and, you know, hopefully, you know, do a staff thing at um, maybe UWM or somewhere else and 
perform. Now, we're going to have you do one more, but then since you're a little more advanced than we are, Pat and I got this one song that we're going to do, but we're going to come back to you because we want your, um, and by the time that the real deal will be up here, and we want all your uh, expertise on what the future of our, uh, our career is going to be, musically. <laughs> we know. <laughs> so, oh, no, hey, we're a fair game, right? Yeah, it's right. It's right. Hey, you know. It's all about the business. We the, the business. You read the business, right? That's right. Uh, so, what are you going to do? Another one for us, and then we want then have, and have the real deal come back, and you guys can set up, and then we want to get everybody's opinion after we do our song uh, to all the elves we loved before. Um, <laughs> you know, are you sure we shouldn't have practiced this? Maybe we should have practiced. I don't know. Yeah, no. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll let them give us a critique. <laughs> so. what, what's this one going to do, dear? Um. This is actually, I was going to sing some Christmas song, okay. but um, this is just going to be um, Black Mountain Rag. Okay. Bye. Oh, awesome. Am I going to play the song first? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Warming up here. All right. <laughs> the real deal you guys come up and uh, whoever's going to be singing in, in your group take the microphone and uh, kind of rearrange yourself a little bit and then uh, Pat and I are going to do this song that we've uh, had <coughs> some success with yes and, uh, not much success but uh, we're going to be playing our, our our Christmas group Billy Goat and the Four Milkers will be playing someplace uh, down on 50th Street this yeah year, you know Christmas Eve Christmas Eve <laughs> this is um to all the elves we loved before, and see, no, I'm not sophisticated like Mason because I gotta keep my strings. I don't want to hurt my fingers. Ready? Come on. Okay. All right. To all, all the elves I've loved, loved before, who's who stumbled in and out, out my door, I'm, I'm glad they brought a bong. <laughs> so I dedicate, dedicate this song 
to all the elves I loved before. To all the elves I once caressed. They've agreed no charges would be pressed. They help me shovel snow because I'm such a small to all the elves I've loved before. My disclosure form is ever changing. And every time I take the stand, My disclosure form is fiction. Like stealing cigars from a can. To all the elves who shared my sled. <laughs> who knew our sugar plums in someone else's bed. <laughs> I'm glad they came along. They brought me this new bong <laughs> to all the elves I've loved before. To all the elves who fondled me. <laughs> they filled my nights with ecstasy. They paid off my bar tab. That <laughs> makes me very glad <laughs> to all the elves I've loved before. <laughs> to, to all, all the, the elves I loved, loved before, who stumbled in and out my door. <laughs> I'm glad they brought a bomb. So I dedicate this to song to all the elves I loved before. <laughs> Start on time and end on time. On key was a different story. Yeah. But, uh, all right, now, uh, you guys got a microphone over there? Uh, Here's a microphone right here. We want to get your... Uh, no vocals. Oh, well. You know, for vocals, so somebody's yeah. got to speak into that thing. Oh, she's just after yeah. this. Yeah. You're kidding me. He still wants you to see. <laughs> hey, uh, just put a microphone. We, we, since you guys are all professional musicians, uh, you know, just uh, give us your critique on what's our chances. One to ten. Are we going to Vegas or are we going to be... A there? chance to do what? Ride the tour bus, probably, or drive the tour bus. Yeah. Oh, you can drive and ride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Singing's out of the question. No, 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 it's great. I admire your spirit. It takes a lot of courage to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the real deal is joining us. Now, what we're going to do is uh, put that uh, actually. The mic stand. The mic stand. Let's take this microphone uh, and move, move this out um, this, this way here. Lenny, Lenny, where's Lenny? Right, Lenny, there? Take the, take the microphone. Yeah, put it put it out by you, or put it on that little deal there, but move it out of the camera range so nobody sees it. Because uh, yeah, we're that's cameraman of the that's cameraman. Is, uh, yeah. We're just changing on the fly here, so I, I, I like the toss up, man. We, we put a good touch here. So. And this is the real deal, and they're, they're going to be playing at Deep Blues Lounge, 5010 7th Avenue on December 30th at 9:30. I'd come see you guys by 9:30. I'm you, we're pretty. Uh, Tired. And you're in tired. bed already. Tired. 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 That's we're, the we're word tired. for yeah, it, we're huh? Tired. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're very tired. <laughs> Called Jack Daniels tired, right? <laughs> Lenny, all right, Lenny, just... I'd like to invite you to our open jam on Monday, on Sunday. What time does that start? Six, oh, oh, that's before the, the first season. Sunday. I'm going to be in Florida on Sunday. Okay. Open jam. Can I mail it in? <laughs> okay. Oh, easy, easy, Lenny. Just, just put it there. It doesn't make any difference where. Just make sure... That a boy. Just don't leave it to Lenny. Lenny, 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 Lenny. Let it go down. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Now put this, just leave it. Now go back to the camera. See, we're just okay. This is called on the job training. You guys have never been done this before. Yes, I put it over. All right, now, uh, what's this? Is this going to be? We got them all on here. Go to camera three so I can see what we're doing here. All right, Lenny. Now you got to tilt it up, and then and, uh, the keyboard. the keyboard players. One of you guys got to move over a little bit so we can get every. See, oh, we got all these smiling faces in there. All right, now. All right, what's this uh, song going to be? version of uh, all the girls love before <laughs> <laughs> are we heard enough of that this is what now all right the real deal
Yeah.